hi lovely friends welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today so i want to show you guys how i made this um plantain boats and sauce yes yes guys you know most time cooking is all about creativity and this period that you'll be maybe expecting visitors you need to make something very creative and delicious for your guests to I kind of keep wondering how did she come about this how did she come about this so i'm going to show you in this video and also my organic sour soap tea yes those are the two things i'm bringing for you today in this video the boat plantain and the sour soap tea so let's get started guys so for the boat plantain i'll be using my rap plantain although um this is actually a cc yemi inspired video i'm going to leave that in her link in the description box so that you see how she also prepared has so she used beans but i'm using egg sauce you can also recreate the video and use any um filler of your choice yes the boat and the passengers <laughs> so the plantain i'm going to I can peel them and bake it she she fried but i'm going to be baking it you know when there's alternative healthy alternative i like going for that one i prefer to bake than to fry so i'm cutting the boat shape now this is how you can cut your own you know the boat shape plantain and here is it and the paddle yes <laughs> my has paddles see their paddles and the plantain so i'm going to put it in the oven in a very low heat 180 degree and let it bake yes like the heat is very kind of very gentle on it it's going to bake it perfectly but remember to check it time to time to turn it around when required so these are the uh vegetables i'll be using for the egg sauce i'm using cabbage um moderate size half of it and i'm using um tomatoes onions yellow pepper green pearl pepper and five large eggs so depend because this meal is actually for about five persons or let me say four persons so you know the quantity that will be okay for you guys yes you know the quantity that will be okay for you but this uh plantain and this um egg sauce is very very delicious one is enough for you because we actually use it for breakfast yes if you make something like this one is enough for the breakfast so here i am trying to you know take out the spicy part of the paper i don't want it too spicy so that my kids will also be able to enjoy it if it's so spicy so pepperish they will not be able to enjoy the egg sauce so here is it you can actually recreate this video like i said make what is um preferable for you if you want to try the bean filler or if you want me to do the beans filler, you also let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to do it. Or you want me to try the, um, maybe something else, you know, <laughs> to fill it in. You just let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, I'll still be leaving the CC and me some link in the description box, like I said, so that you can check her out. She's very amazing and very creative. So when I'm done dicing the vegetables, this water is for my tea. This is my sour soap leaf. I have the plants in my house. What I do is just pick the plant, uh, the leaves, cut from the plant, dry the quantity I want, and I wash dried. If you want the video for that on how to uh, kind of make your own organic sour soap tea sour soap has a lot of nutritional benefits the nutritional benefit of sour soap plants sour soap tea cannot be overemphasized guys just 
Google it. Benefit of soursop leaves. You'll be amazed. So when I learned about it, I was like, ooh, see me and soursop. Even gova tree too. Yes, gova plants. If you have it, guys, don't take those leaves for granted. Just use it for your tea. Those expensive green tea you buy at um, superstores and all that, you also can make them from your house organically prepared so for the soya soap i added ginger i added garlic so imagine the boosts this we give to the plants the ginger and the garlic all together it's going to be heavenly so i add it there and let it cook for 15 minutes it will be cooking while i will be preparing the egg sauce meanwhile my plantain is still in the oven baking so you know when you put it like that it will just be baking while you're making the other sauce but if you still want to fry you can go ahead and fry you don't have well it's a choice but me i prefer baking so this is the egg i'm trying to add these spices they are not going to be much just add little spices my olive oil, I prefer using olive oil, guys. If you have, it's not even a choice. Try to be substituting your vegetable oil to olive oil. Most times they tell us, stop eating vegetable oils. It blocks your blood vessels. It blocks your this and that, the heart. Please, try to be getting the good oil for your meal. So here, I'm making, trying to prepare the sauce. I didn't want to add the onions first because i actually like my onions fresh yes i like to have it i don't want it to be that fried out i want to have it a little bit fresh but if you want it to that to be that fried out you can add it first so i added the tomato first the garbage then the onion now the yellow pepper and the bell pepper then the next will be my egg yes guys so you kind of garnish i seasoned it with salt and crayfish alone i don't know the um, camera did not capture it but you can season with what you you know feel better with you know just trying to cut out some chemical content food out of my this thing out of my meal so i just use those simple ingredients yeah, my crayfish and my salt so add it make sure you fry in a low heat yes so that it doesn't get burnt let it cook gradually flip it over and over until the you notice that the egg is fully you know dried up you are not seeing more juices around it just this way it is so the vegetables will still be that crunchy and okay because I did not over fry it. Mm -mm. I did not over fry it. So the vegetables will still be crunchy and delicious. So we are done bringing out the plantain from the oven. The plantain is fully baked. So it's for me now to set it out on a plate and start filling in the passengers <laughs> so there they are and the paddles just that these paddles <laughs> the paddles were eaten up by i and my kids before we finish dressing the boats right here we are filling in the boats who is ready to go the passengers are loading <laughs> This is very creative guys so it's good to be creative in your kitchen you just create something amazing you know you just be happy oh i came up with this and you'll be happy you did so i just fill in this one first you know set it aside and just take a look at how it looks the plantain is so it's, it's not a kind of dried out like when I'm making bole. No, because I bake it in a really low heat. It gradually baked to the inside. So the plantain is still very soft, you know. Yeah. And here my tea is ready. Look at it. Look at it. 
so it's looking so mm, delicious so i'm going to use this my sieve and sieve it out in my jar the jug i'll be using it for the tea So done sieving it out. Look at how it's looking. So nice and beautiful. And back to our planting. I want to fill the remaining two. That is total four. I think I said it's for four persons. We all took it like one, one. And this, this the total um, time for this food actually is about um, 35 minutes yes because everything was just so fast i made everything together at the same time and before the plantain is baked the sauce is ready and the tea is ready and whoop back to the dining so i've passed it to the dining i want to take my in the kitchen where my camera is so that we'll continue videoing so this is my delicious sauce of tea i love this tea <laughs> I wish to be taking it every morning, honestly. And I'm accompanying it with honey. You can use um, any sweetener of your choice. If you eat sugar, me, I avoid, I avoid those uh, in laboratory prepared sugar. I like to go for organic sweetener. If you even have coconut sugar, I shared coconut sugar in my video. You can check it out. You can check out honey. Those are the organic sweeteners that will not add have any negative effect on your body all right so you drank it yeah i drank it <laughs> uh, so guys this is it this is so delicious so make sure your boat is well filled fill it with the sauce you are using with the filler so that a bite of it you have enough filler enough sauce in your mouth and the plantain mm. so heavenly this is so great i wish to be doing it all the time but guys schedules 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 are always very tight but i'll be doing it more often because i really enjoy this so guys give it a try and let me know in the comment section but i guarantee you you are going to enjoy this new, new, new discovery <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay loving, stay happy. I'll see you again in my next channel, in my next <laughs> video. Bye.